Oscar. Skyla's getting her cochlear implant operation tomorrow. Yeah. They will get switched on the following day, so then she can hear. Two-year-old Oscar and a six-month Skyla. What does the duck say? Both profoundly deaf, but um, yeah, both both full of energy. Oh, she had a bit of a fall, unfortunately. Yep. She hit the kitchen floor, a bit of a scare for us. It was a shock when we found out that Oscar was um, profoundly deaf. You got it? Yeah. We don't have any deaf family members. It wasn't until, um, you know, the odd pot gets dropped on, in the kitchen or something and he just doesn't startle. Once he failed his newborn hearing test the first time, we actually realised, yeah, mm. he was. Yay! And then, yeah, little Skylar came along and same again. You have your ears on? Ah. Uh. Oscar was five months old when he had his operation for cochlear implants. Good boy. Good boy. So Skylar will be six months. Come back, Oscar. Oscar can hear a lot better than we expected with cochlears, really. Red bands are what we call town gumboots. There's only so many ranges of frequencies that he can hear, but he does really well to hear what he can with them. His conversation will be the same as any uh, normal hearing child because uh, he got the cochlears fitted at such a young age. Oscar's learning two languages at the moment, like English and sign language. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He is deaf and it means that if he can sign, he can be part of the deaf community. He might find that he doesn't really like cochlears and um, especially in the afternoons when we're at home, he, he will decide himself that he's had enough of the hearing world and he'll, uh, he'll take off his cochlears and just have, have some time out um, running around with the dogs. And what is it? In the water. It's been a lot easier on us with Skylar because we know what to expect. A little bit nervous, um, just as any parent would be with their child having an operation and going under. Because I don't think anyone wants to willingly take their kid into a hospital and, and have an operation. The side effects or the complications that can happen in surgery are so minimal that I think it's, um, yeah, it's, it has to be a good thing just to do it. She was pretty grizzly when she woke up. I think she was just starving. Um, but she's happy now. You just can't hear me yet, can you? Hi. <laughs> it's um, about four hours, um, and they just cut like behind the ear. Oh. It was oh. um, the longest time I've been away from her. <laughs> this afternoon, she will get her processes on and she'll be able to hear for the first time. We can go see your brother soon. The cochlear implant consists of two parts, the internal component and the external sound processor. Now, the cochlear implant doesn't restore normal hearing, but it does provide a sensation of hearing to the nerve, and then the brain learns to process that sensation as sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks kind of gnarly for the first few days, <laughs> it's so but nice. um, yeah, that'll heal up pretty quickly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Are we excited to get your ears on? So I'm just checking that the magnet's sitting well. There we go. You're not too bothered by that. I'm going to very slowly switch the processes on so she'll start to hear some things. So when that happens, it would be really cool if you guys just talk to Skylar and so that she can hear your voice for the yeah. first time. Yay. Are you ready? Yeah. Great. We're switching on. Hello. Skylar. Skylar. Hello. Oh, she what heard something. That? Hi. <laughs> she can hear you, Oscar. She's got her ears on. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. 
Hey. Wow. Say hi, Skyla. Ah. 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 Over the next couple of weeks, what um, Sophie and Robbie will do at home is make lots of sounds at home and point out what the sounds are. And after about nine months of listening to all the language and sounds around her, she'll start to understand some words. Now we have two babies that like the sound of their own voice. <laughs> Yeah, she's adapting to it really quickly and these wires and that she's getting to be a pro at, um, at taking the magnets off so we have to be <laughs> super vigilant and just put them on as much as we can just to give her that hearing time. Hey, hi. This is Deborah. She's, she's taught us to sign um, since we found out that Oscar was deaf. Brenda. Dada. It's cool to see Oscar signing and talking, um, but his sign is what's just just as good as his talking. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're very fortunate that they both can get cochlear implants, but we're always going to need sign with our kids. We'll, we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the lessons coming every week and um, sign amongst ourselves. We we just try and make it part of our everyday life. <laughs>